What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode here of the Minecraft single player series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it's a little bit of a different episode. I I took a week off of just sitting back and relaxing and you know just vibing. So I'm back after a week and I want to show you guys some stuff that I, I made progress on and I didn't want to show you. Now, this video is gonna kind of be a talkie video, and I, I'm just coming to realize the next episode will be the well not right now. Uh the next episode will be kind of a big progress update one because I really hate let me sit up in my chair I really hate the infrastructure of this world it, it just isn't lined up the way I'd like it to be where do I need to go um, I need to go up that's where I need to go so I really I'm just not impressed with the way this world uh, when I die, it's very difficult for me to fix and it's just it's just really bad But over the holiday season, I just you know spent some time to do some you know Quarantining with the family, you know, just just taking it easy. I got some new monitors too for Christmas They uh, there are two 24 inch monitors and I, I really like them I, I might end up picking myself up another 27 inch uh, that I saw on sale too, but that, that that's beside the point Don't worry about that right now um, What I, what we ended up working on? <laughs> We're gonna take a pit spot now. I did a whole episode that has now been removed, but I realized it was on me I uh, I redid the gold farm completely from top to bottom This thing's huge <laughs> And I completely scrapped the episode you may be like Justin why why did you scrap this episode because it broke the gold farm wasn't working the way a gold farm can I land in the middle of that three two one go uh, yes um, the gold farm broke, and it wasn't dropping gold, and I thought it was just a problem with the snapshot, I thought something went wrong in the way that this actually performed. Turns out, I wasn't wrong. I was just one of the data packs on the world was corrupted because we were in 1.17 snapshots, and it was stopping any drops in the nether from actually dropping. So, now we have gold. We just got a lot of gold from that, like, right away. So now we can actually get gold, which is nice. We can we can work on this in the next episode, but uh, I need to head over. I don't even know where it is. I hate not having Optifine in this world. It actually is quite a pain. I'm out of food though. So this is where we need to go right away. And then I'll meet up back, I'll meet back up with you guys in the overworld where we're gonna talk about the next couple episodes and where they're gonna go. And there is actually something that I wanna throw together in this episode for us. So let me just, you know, let me do some of my magic and we'll just do a little bit of uh, a cutscene and then we'll talk and then we'll do a little bit of a build so now that we're back here at our lovely base I swear to god this base reigns or this world reigns more than any minecraft world I have ever seen in my life it just constantly rains it is actually gross how badly it rains but check this out I, I was doing a little bit of work you know and you can see there's villagers wandering around because I've kind of given up I think the game mechanics have changed and I spent a lot of time designing this uh, you guys remember you could actually zombify villagers and they would they'd become you could become a paper guy yeah obviously obviously you can okay so I ditched all the stuff okay you you're both pretty much back up that's unfortunate so I had one of these guys down so okay so you can convert them and they do remember for a little while but it looks like after a certain amount of time they just kind of forget they just kind of don't care anymore so what I've come to realize is we need we're gonna turn this area into a bulk area now I designed this out had the zombie for converting and everything and I've converted them a bunch of, I've converted one of these guys four times to get him down and he's still slowly going up like it just doesn't seem to matter uh, that he was converted so with that in mind I think what we're gonna do is just not worry about the conversion anymore and we need to figure out some way to like industrial farm the what's it called the the emeralds in this area so we have two options for this area right here this is where the the, the villagers come down he just upgraded thanks dude what you make you gave me a mending book that's not bad Thanks, dude. But this area right here can be converted into an area for us to get bulk item or bulk emeralds. Now, the two that I want to work with, and it's the two that we have access to quite rapidly in this world, actually, is the rotten flesh trade and the what's it called? The paper trade. Because we have the, the paper or the, the sugarcane farm. And I let that thing run for like eight hours the other day and it filled up 
five double chests, so that thing running on its own in the AFK drone, it works really well. So what I thought we would do is rip this whole section apart, get rid of this completely, and this area can be transformed and finished, finally, finally we'll finish another part of the base. But we can transform and finish it into a villager trading hall. Now what I want to really do is kind of make it so we can get villagers here, which we already have. And I can just close this off now. I actually got rid of it, which is a shame. Uh, I don't think one of these guys has taken to one of these lecterns for some reason. And I don't really know why. But we're going to grab all the emeralds that we can from them. See, this is the plan. We can do that guy. And then this guy's at 43 em paper. I think I punched them by mistake. That actually could be why all their prices went up. That guy's ridiculous now. <laughs> and this guy's at 16. I think I did punch him by mistake. But everything else is ridiculously low but his paper trade. So I think they do actually put up by demand, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It is what it is, but that's what I want to do is make an area where we can just get a bulk amount of paper, which is really, or a bulk amount of emeralds, which in reality is what we can trade for. So that's what I'm going to work on is designing this area up. Now, obviously we have the area where we can pull uh, villagers from, which will work really well. I actually broke it because it did glitch out and they were perfectly stationary in one spot so I might go in and kind of make modifications to this so when they drop down they push into one of the corners no matter what so this might be a little bit bigger but then we can design out the room we can just instantly before this guy becomes a problem get rid of him because we're not going to be converting anymore I don't think it's needed anymore as long as we have a fair amount of uh trades going on I think this guy yeah I think I accidentally punched him because his prices are the same and his prices are the same so yeah but yeah so that's what I want to work on in this episode that's where I want this episode to go so uh, we might not get the whole build done in this episode but we can get a fair amount of it done so first I'm gonna start with kind of changing up how this system works and then we're gonna get working on just the design and how everything's gonna look here with all the villagers in the walls so without further ado let me get that going and if you guys are wondering why I'm just doing like a bulk section here and it's actually because down here is where we're gonna move move the villagers to when we have a decent trading hall like right now if I just had endless amounts of emeralds I wouldn't have to worry about it I could just come down here and just you know even though they're kind of expensive just trade with what we need like grab ourselves a fortune three like do whatever we need so if we had just a mass amount of emeralds stocked up the infrastructure in this world would be way, way better we gotta do the ceiling in here soon too I do have plans for how this ceiling's gonna work so without further ado let me actually work on that a bit more the base the base needs to be worked on soon we have been just slacking in this world all right let me do some work all right things have been modified and it's actually going really well that's not really what I want to hear right now but check this out we got some village we got about seven now I've set up each cell to do 12 and then I've set it up to do 12 here and then I'm setting this side up to be mirrored this side even though there's gonna be this gap here whatever it doesn't matter and then we're gonna do 12 of the guys that can trade rotten flesh so then we can just go where are they dying we are really close to the surface so something tells me up there um <laughs> But all I have to do is rip through. Now it's nighttime, obviously. That's why we're getting bombarded by mobs. But all I have to do is whip through and get myself some emeralds. Now, I'm not going to be able to finish this in this episode because I actually did die <laughs> and lose everything. So I think we're going to end it off here with getting these 12 done. Now in the next episode, we'll get the whole rest of the build done. Obviously, I'm going to do a lot of the work off camera. We're going to need to grab a lot of uh, brewing stands I need at least oh I need 12 brewing stands and then I can put together this side and then once we have we have what seven one one two three four five six seven once we have that up to 12 then we can start adding villagers to this side get this side up to 12 and then that'll give us 24 kind of farming villagers now their prices seem to be all over the place they go up to like 41 here which honestly if it if this is what it takes to get emeralds this is what it takes to get emeralds I'm honestly not too concerned. Obviously, this guy was like... But either way, we got 32 from him. That guy's 41. And then this guy is 20. Like, I don't understand why their prices are so different. That guy's going to level up, but then we can just come down here and grab more emeralds here. As long as I can get a stack of emeralds to go, I don't really care. 
And to be honest, I just did. I'm getting over a stack of inventory here, right? So this is pretty good. I can't complain with this. And then all of them are upgrading. And then we have our little stash of emeralds. Check that out. I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to do a little more work here. I want to make sure I can pull... Like right now, I'm just modifying this. I don't really need them all that much. I do want to make it eventually so I can do that. But honestly, this area is just going to be for trading these guys and I do need hmm I do need an area where I can get them to figure out their trade so that will be something we work on in the next episode too but let me work on this a little bit more maybe we can finish the aesthetic of the build today just did here <laughs> something very strange has happened in this area I'm still waiting for these two little turds to grow up so I can start grabbing villagers out of here but all these guys dropped their trades down to 20 again so this guy's at 20, this guy's at 20, and apparently doesn't want to trade anymore. This guy's at 20, and then this guy's at 20, this guy's at 20, or this guy's at 15, this guy's at 21, like why are they all back down? What happened to the guys that were like... 40 per one did that just their timer reset well i'm not complaining i'm getting plenty of emeralds but like this is good isn't it thank you and then you oh you're not already done then you okay what did you unlock we're getting all their unlock that's actually a good enchant i guess all these guys are gonna have different enchants right what do you have wow yours is terrible that's not bad that sucks. Huh. I do like this guy having mending. I'll take advantage of that. But, like, I've been collecting emeralds just as I work on this, and I'm loving. This is good. <laughs> yeah, this is good. We're gonna have a good trading hall in this world. I'm excited. So, with the time frame I have to actually get this video, <laughs> look at him offer a flower. <laughs> You're so nice. Wait, did you take the flower? No, he's still offering. What a, what a D-bag. Wow. Just ignoring him. Just being so rude. <laughs> but I did get 12 villagers in here, which is actually kind of a miracle if you think about it. I have one extra, so I got to breed up another 12 for this section. And then I got to finalize the room and maybe make this a way into, and this will be interesting, I want this to go into a room and this to be a secret entrance. But we'll worry about, <laughs> we'll worry about that later. But right now I have this and this so we're gonna make this all into paper and i want to see how many emeralds i can get from this because obviously they're all at about 20. i'm not doing anything to kind of upgrade their trades i'm not worrying about that at all and i can just reach in and grab one of them this is so easy like the amount of emeralds i can get from this so there was one guy 16. this guy's gonna give me another 16 so yeah it's not bad at all and it seems like their prices changed like that guy with five was obviously one of the ones we changed but i'm not even worried about 22. like this is a decent way of getting a large amount of emeralds like this is crazy and all I gotta do is just kind of click through. And I should never really run out because as long as I'm doing this, they should, in theory, be restocking. Now, I'm already out. I've done two inventories here. I don't make enough paper to do this. I don't make enough paper to actually do this. But we're building up quite... Like, once we get the gold farm going, that's gonna be the... The big one that we need finished here is the gold farm. We're gonna ditch that again. Okay, we can dish some emeralds, too. I love it. I almost have a double chest. I almost have a double... Well, not a, a single chest of emeralds. That feels so good. <laughs> I know it's not that much, but, like, in this world, this feels so good. I feel like we're lacking behind where YouTube Let's Plays could be. So we gotta, we gotta start getting our stuff, like, our, our skill up here, man. Why do you... Why do you trade that? I don't know what your workstation is. Oh no. <laughs> he didn't get a paper trade when I just pushed him in here. That's not good. Well, I mean, it's not in the world. 
Obviously, we, we can't really keep up with this, but they need to work now. Okay, so these guys definitely... Oh, this guy doesn't. But yeah, that's more than enough emeralds. And then we can switch over to... What's it called? We can switch over to rotten flesh and just go from there. Or whatever we have the most of at the time, we can go. Yeah, this system will work. I like this. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I got time for. I It's currently 6 in the morning. Yeah. It's way too late for me right now, and I, I need to go to bed. So I'm going to edit this video and try to get this up for you guys. But if you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Gaming. You guys can call me Justin. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.